He just climbed me. Anyways, howdy duty fellas, this is your host Super Poopy. And today, we're gonna be looking at some awesome gear that was issued to me that I gotta turn in very soon. It is actually right here. So not long ago, if you know, you know. But if you're in the Marine Corps, you'll know that there's gate guards and uh, you can get TAD to that. You can do that for quite a fat minute here. Can you see better like that? There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the gear, show you what it is. It's mainly police gear. As uh, you can see, it is uh, just a belt with all kinds of shit. It looks like a goddamn Batman belt or some shit. You know what I mean? Put it on like so. And... Buckle it right here. Anyways, now that I have successfully gotten the cat off my back, uh, I can show you this gear more into detail. So we're going to start with the holster right here. I'll tell you guys what it is in a bit. But the thing about this holster is that it has a double safety system. I'll get that later. So you do this. You can't access the gun. You can't steal it. You can't take it. So say, oh, there might be danger or something. There might be a bad day today. Look at that. And it doesn't come out still. Then you want to take it out. <clears throat> push comes to shove. You push this down right here. Press into it. Then your gun's out and you're ready. We're going to demonstrate more, more into detail later. Now over here is where the handcuffs go. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a gate guard. You know what I'm saying? I was technically a, a peace officer, if that makes sense. As you can see, these... Are the handcuffs they issued me by Smith and Wesson? To be honest, they saw more action in the bedroom than they did actually in the field or in the gate. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, while my wife loved those, um, I forgot where I was going with that. But anyways, guys, over here is where you put the key right here. I'm not married, by the way. Over here is some sort of Velcro pouch. I assume you put misc in here or whatnot, whatever you want. I don't know, lint. That you find in your fucking po pocket for some fucking reason. So, very cool, very awesome. All obtainable gear. Right here is where you put the OC spray. Uh, the pepper spray, in case you guys don't know. The spicy face juice. And in case you guys don't know, I did get pepper sprayed in the face. It fucking sucked. And it made me hate life. It was very unfortunate that I did not get to record it. Because the person that was going to pick me up was going to record it. But I had to cancel last second on me because of a medical appointment. So that fucking sucks ass, but one of my homegirls ended up picking me up. So very awesome of them to save the day because they didn't let me walk back. But I tell you what, I haven't thrown a hissy fit that heavy since I was five years old. I was like, oh, no. I thought it was going to be bearable, but no, that shit, that shit painful. That shit painful. And I didn't even take a shower that day. Next day, I did shower and it rehydrated the spiciness. It fucking sucked. A whole last day. But anyways, guys. Over here is the baton. Very cool, awesome thing. Uh, so you can whack people that are not... Uh, that are showing small forms of resistance. But that they're not going to be able to kill you or whatnot. Uh, right here is where the radio pouch would go. Which is what I dropped. But it's a little finicky. So the radio goes in there. It's strapped by this little string here. And it gets attached to your belt. So very cool. Very awesome, but not that awesome because you got cool stuff that actually hurt people. And you got the police magazine pouches that hurt, hold your 9mm magazines for the M9 Beretta. As you know, the MPs and all the important people are now using Sig Sauer pistols in 9mm. So very cool. While the non-important Marines, like pieces of shit like me... Are still using the old beat up M9 Berettas, which is ironic because I have my M9 Beretta here at home. Not the issued one, my personal Beretta, as you know. Um, that's a lot cleaner and a lot better. And, you know, back then in the military, they did not give a fuck. They let you bring your guns from home and you shoot the enemy with whatever the fuck you want, even if it goes against the Geneva Convention. But as you know, you can't do that anymore, so that fucking sucks. You can't shoot a fucking POW with a peacemaker or a lever action. But for legal reasons, that was just a joke. If you think that was threatening, eat a fucking dick. It is Pride Month. Congratulations. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to show you how the gear works. So I'm going to move you down here. So give me a second.
But anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and put one in here. There you go. One magazine right here facing this way so you can pull it out and inwards. There you go. So you got to think about all these things when emergency uh, comes, when push comes to shove. You know what I'm saying? So very awesome, very cool. But as promised, I'm going to show you the baton, so say someone is not obeying. Sir, sir, I need you to calm down. Sir, this is your last chance, you know what I'm saying? And you can pull some intimidating ninja shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, fucking Star Wars. Sir, sir, get down, get back, get down, get back. As soon as he's uh, in pain and on the ground, obviously you don't want to dink him on the head. This is not a fucking medieval weapon. This is just to hurt someone, just enough to get him to comply. This is not meant to fucking kill people. But uh, if this is in your hand at the time, you didn't know you had a gun, got you in a soft spot, holy shit, I'm going to aim, aim for the noggin. I will try to fucking destroy you if you pull a gun and this thing's already in my right hand. So what's going to happen? That's too much. He already has a gun on his hand. So as fast as that was, it ain't going to work for me. But very cool. Hit someone in the ankle or right here, give them a nice, nice fracture, nice shin splint because they weren't obeying, they were being disobedient. Of course, within legal, reasonable suspicion or whatnot, you can't just skip to the point tight. You don't want to listen to me? Yeah, you can't do that. Then you can put hands on or whatnot, have a partner, and then have a third person getting tactical. You know what I'm saying? Being with, like at the ready with the firearm in case he pulls out a knife. So very cool, very cool. Um... But yeah, very cool baton, and they trained us. So if you're done with the baton, whether he pulls out a knife and you still got decent distance, you keep your eyes on him, or maybe he's on the floor already, you slam it on the ground like that. So you couldn't see that, but say this is the floor, keep eyes on him, you're good, or you need to upgrade. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? See how quick this holster is? It's a pretty good holster. Now, I recommend you use the more modern tactical lanyards. I plan on using this one I conceal carry because it just looks like a fancy necklace. So it's very cool, but yeah, that's how it works. The safety right here, you can't press it, you can't use it. You do this, and then you want to pull this down, and there you go, you know what I'm saying? So you're talking, you're talking, sir, what's going on? Oh shit, gun, gun, gun. Bang, 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 you know what I'm saying? But you want to keep your hands like this at the ready, like, hey, what's going on? It looks casual, right? My left leg's in the front, right leg in the back. Gun is away from him. Oh shit, you wanna do some fuck shit? Let me push you back with this hand. This hand's gonna go here. I don't know what it got stuck on. My cat is trying to play with my lanyard. But you remove that safety. You can fire from here if he's close enough. You don't need to aim at this close and say he is farther. No problem. There you go, freaking awesome. You know what I'm saying? And you already got one in the chamber because the M9 Beretta is reliable like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is a dummy round. See how it's red right there? Ow. Watch out for Beretta bite. I'm going to put you guys up here again. So, very freaking awesome. And the magazines are pretty uh, accessible. So, say like, oh, uh, suspect is down. Going to reload. Need you to cover me and get tactical. There you go. No fucking problem. Say it jams, or you get a dud round. Ow, I hit myself. There's probably a better way to do that. But at least it got done. It doesn't bother me enough. There you go. Want to hold that pistol nice and tight. Keep thumbs on the side. Going to go ahead and do that. And the slide won't bite you. It won't hit you. It won't destroy you or anything. All right? So it's all hitting the good. And if you can, if they're far enough, pull that hammer back. And uh, you're good to go. You get less resistance on the trigger and whatnot. Let me double check just to make sure it's a dummy round. It is a dummy round. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and pow. Oh, he's not down and he's still resisting. Pow, pow, readjust, pow, readjust, pow, readjust, pow, readjust. And try not to jerk that trigger. Take your time. Because remember, the jerk of a trigger can dramatically change where the bullet is going to land. So be very careful. You don't want to kill an innocent bystander when the clear asshole is the one hurting people that you need to shoot to stop him from killing people. Okay, so very cool. I really like this holster. Uh, I'll give you guys the name in case you like this holster. I personally like the Marine Corps ones, the Black Hawk ones. I'll give you the name so you guys can look up the name and buy it online, wherever the hell they may sell it. It is called a Safa Riland. Safa Riland? I don't know. But it's spelled S-A-F-A-R-I-L-A-N-D. 
and then you just put a holster and then you'll find it. But very cool holster, very awesome. If you want, I can do a little bit of drills right here, see how fast I can pull that gun. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll wrap it up from here because, uh, yeah, I got to turn in this gear tomorrow. So say, sir, what's going on? What's up? You know, uh, what, what's the pickle? Oh, shit. Safety off. Bang, bang, bang. Or if he's far, zoom out like that. And if he's even further, boom. We're just, sir, I don't want to do this. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Oh, you don't want, you want to fucking corner me? Bang. Right into the lower abdomen because the goal is not to kill him. It's to subdue him. Dang, dang, bang, bang, bang. H hollow points right into the lower abdomen. That's going to cause an excessive amount of pain. And when you got hollow points, you it doesn't matter if you have a 9 mil or a 32 ACP. It's going to feel like a 45 because of that stopping power. And I like, personally, I would aim for the lower abdomen because if that bullet goes through or for some reason you're in the dark and maybe you grab a magazine of 9 mil FMJ, the bullet is going to go down, you know what I'm saying? If, they're, if it's trespassing, you know what I'm saying? So rather than aiming for the head, it's a smaller, more faster moving target bullet could go through hit the wall and hit someone else and you wouldn't even know it and now you're charged with murder because you try to defend yourself always aim for the torso me personally i would aim for the lower torso okay so that's what i recommend because it's like you're aiming down you're not aiming up and if you're aiming up the bullet's going to travel and you know pistols are more clumsy when it comes to pulling the trigger you know what i'm saying so just like, hey, sir, what's going on? Oh, knife, knife, knife. Drop the gun, drop the gun. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But very cool. Had a good time making this video for y'all. And uh, don't forget to practice your reloads. So, yeah. A really cool holster. I started to like it. At first, I hated it. But now, um, I got pretty used to it. I might even buy myself one. This is issue gear, keep in mind. Uh, the pistol is mine. Uh, the M9 that was issued to me was way more beat up. And this thing is just beautiful, fresh out the bag still. I kept it well preserved and well taken care of. And uh, yeah. Anyways, like, subscribe, much love, take care. It's been your host, Super Poopy.